parliamentary action came into force in the UK and this paved the way for a Norman family called the Penroses to come over to Waterford and open up Waterford Crystal. Now Jay chose Waterford at the time was because of the large port that was like Wedgwood, Wild Albert, Wild Dalton, Wild Copenhagen. So we fall underneath their living brand. But they're really well known for it. You know the orange scissors? Yeah. We have a factory here. The crystal from the degrees. silver billets just at the back of the floor level, just at the back. They will then place it into the portable furnace where they will heat the crystal for its pre-shaping. See that once it starts to cool down, the colour is starting to fade slightly. These guys are all just creating the initial piece. Overnight. So once the crystal comes over here, the cap needs to be sawn off the top of the crystal. So the cap was the piece of crystal that was above that mold connected to the rod. That is sawed off using our diamond saws. And this is used to get a smooth in and out of rim on the crystal. Okay, so here we are in the marketing department. So these are the yellow lines that we do ask everybody to stand in between. And just be aware for your own health and safety that there is unfinished crates of crystal there and they are stacked up be the vase just at the back here that is hand drawn on so another example is this bowl here so this bowl would have been hand drawn on and then the culture is just cut straight through each one of those individual lines and that is for our can't see but once you come around you will see we can't talk you basketball